Oh man, what is up, you guys? This is Brian Sim. I am Brian, and I have another reaction video. Yeah, I'm supposed to like upload like every Tuesday, but lately I've been sick, so um, yeah. But uh, I'm trying to get a reaction video or two out for you right now. Uh, this is a Brewster reaction by uh, yeah, a Brewster. Uh, it's called Toys R Us. Never worked there. Uh, let's see. That's not what it is. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, I guess he used to be an employee at Toys R Us. I applied to work at Toys R Us like one time, but they never got back to me. I don't know. Probably because I'm black. I don't know. But the original link can be in the description box down below. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. Oh. When I was 20 years old, I got a job at the Toys R Us, and I hated every goddamn minute I had to work there. Because nobody wanted me selling them toys, okay? It's just weird. I'm an adult. They're an adult. What the fuck do they know about toys? What the hell do I know about toys? Yeah, I don't know. These kids just really love these Don Cheadle dolls. They can't get enough of them. Why, you could probably lure a kid into an unmarked van, and he wouldn't even think twice about it. Your name could be Rapey McRaperson, and they wouldn't even give a shit. <clears throat> And, uh, plus they're on sale, too, so yeah. Customers would come up to me and ask me where certain toys were in the store. I didn't have a clue, so i just make something up. Excuse me, where are your footballs at? Uh, I think they're in aisle 12B. Where are your bathrooms at? Bathrooms? They're in 12B. Is your parking lot around here somewhere? That would be in aisle 12B, sir. Thank you. Hey, uh... You know we don't have an aisle 12B, right? Yeah, fuck them, they'll figure it out. So they would mostly keep me in the back with the uh, other social outcasts. Keep me away from the cup. Bruh, look at his eye. Like, he always draws them with the, the weird people with the eye to the side. That's so funny. Customers, I would just be building power wheels and uh, kids' bikes all day long. If you want a shitty bike, you have me make it. Because I'm an idiot. I can't put together shit. Okay, I have no idea what I'm doing. If a goddamn light bulb goes out in my house, I'm like, oh shit! Looks like I'm getting a new lamp. This will take weeks to repair. I'd get done with a bike, and there'd be all these pieces left over in the box. Like, what the hell? Yeah, I guess it'll be all right. <laughs> but they would also use me whenever a ladder needed to be climbed to get something off a shelf. Some customer would find the- Bro, every time I worked at Walmart, oh, I worked at Walmart like three times. And I worked with like a bunch of old people, and they'd always get the young people to climb up, climb up the ladders. And the ladders, if you guys go to Walmart, their ladders, no, it's like you're climbing up death. It's like a death mountain. I don't know, man. The heaviest thing we have in the store, and make sure it was on top of fucking Mount McKinley. Hey, can you get that box down? A what box? That one up there that looks like a little fucking dot in the goddamn stratosphere? <laughs> yeah, sure, I'll get my evil Knievel ass up there and get it down for you. So I go and get the ladder, and uh, by the time I get back, a small crowd of people have gathered, like I'm some kind of fucking circus show. Okay, for my next trick, I'm gonna climb this 30-foot ladder and try to get this 250-pound swing set down without breaking my neck. So I start making my way up, and uh, the ladder's starting to feel like it's made out of fucking popsicle sticks. I start wondering, man, I wonder how many people down there just want to see me beef it off this ladder which is a stupid thought really because everybody down there wanted to see me beef it off the ladder my legs are shaking uncontrollably there's clearly poop already in the seat of my pants oh screw this shit i'm not a goddamn daredevil for christ's sake um you want me to get it and eventually you do get the big ass thing down and you wheel it out in the parking lot for the customer and he's got the smallest fucking car you've ever seen in your life He's over there like, oh, okay, let me just put the seat down real quick. And I'm like, come on, dude, really? Are you serious? Your fucking car looks like a goddamn Monopoly token. Hell, it'd be easier to fit your goddamn car in the goddamn swing set box. But luckily, I didn't have to work there for too long. It was uh, just a seasonal position, so once Christmas came and went, I was done. They came up to me and was like, hey, Merry Christmas. You're fucking fired. Get out of here. And they're shooing me off with a goddamn broom, which I didn't really care. I mean, shit, they were lucky to still be in business with my dumb ass working there. Excuse me. Yeah, we uh, bought a bike from here and my daughter crashed into a tree and she exploded on impact. Who should we talk to about that? Uh, I have no idea, dude. I don't work here. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry. Aisle 12B. Go to aisle 12B. <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. 
I don't know, man. It's it's tough working retail. You always gotta yeah. You always gotta stay positive when you're working retail. Like literally, you gotta wake up and then dread the fact you gotta go to work or something like that. Um, I think that's about it. I hope you guys like the reaction video. I know I'm sick. Um, I, I don't know, man. I'm trying to like we're trying to me and Samantha are trying to do this challenge on this weekend. Hopefully, but um, if you guys want want us to react to anything, go ahead and comment down below or just hit up in our social media sites. I don't really mess with Twitter, so I just put it on Snapchat and Instagram. Those are the two that I'm always on. Uh, so once again, this is Bryson. I'm Brian. You guys have a great day. Peace.